I read the article uh, by Clayton Christensen on disruptive innovation about how ultrasonography and bedside ultrasonography or point of care ultrasonography may change medicine. One of the major disruptors that came right out of temple radiology was Dr. Marvin Ziskin, a true genius in the field and a researcher in ultrasound. He developed a Doppler ultrasound that is used in every institute everywhere in the world today. Marv, he is the primary reason that ultrasound is a diagnostic tool. Point of care ultrasound is a new idea that's developed over the last few years. And it's providing ultrasound at the bedside where the patient really needs it. It's a huge innovation and a step forward for healthcare. We thought it would be perfect to give butterfly ultrasounds to each medical student one-to-one. -one. This is a game changer as far as how much we can integrate the ultrasound into the first and second year curriculums and then beyond in the third and fourth years. Really, it's invaluable for medical education because just like how we learn kind of the anatomy, the physiology, the pathology that goes behind all these disease processes, we also get incorporated with those doctoring skills, those clinical exam skills, history taking. This is an ancillary aid to all of that. Ultrasound is a very useful modality. It can really aid clinicians while they're evaluating the patients, just like they would use a stethoscope, would use a point of care ultrasound. I wanted to incorporate ultrasound training in the med school, and this is something we've been working on for a number of years. Almost every field of medicine, you're gonna be coming into contact with point of care ultrasound, and the sooner we can get this introduced, the more widespread it'll become accepted. This is not a skill you can just you know, obtain overnight. This is something that you build upon. I didn't start having any ultrasound experience until my fourth year. Here in the ED, I use it every single day. I use bedside ultrasonography in the trauma bay for every single trauma patient that we see. We are able to make the diagnosis in the trauma bay, and then we know if they need to go immediately to the operating room. The point of care ultrasound will and is becoming the next major stethoscope, and it is a huge leap forward. We don't want the education that we give our Lewis Katz School of Medicine medical students to be obsolete on the day that they graduate. So we need to make sure that we are well ahead of the curve and that we prepare them to face and be a part of the technology that's coming. The future of medicine is right here at Temple. And you, class of 2025, are about to hold it in your hands. You are the only medical students on the entire East Coast to receive your very own point of care butterfly ultrasound. Now look under your chairs, see those bags, open them up and unwrap what's inside and show everybody what you have. We were able to give out 220 of these butterfly ultrasounds to our incoming class of 2025, and it will be a game changer for them. My parents are radiologists and use this all the time. They've shown me the importance of it. To be able to start that from our first year is just truly such a special opportunity. The field of ultrasound has advanced a great deal. And at first there were big expensive uh, equipment, but it's gotten better and better and better. This has become like, kind of like an empowering moment. It just like make me realize that I'm actually a medical student. Dr. Savidi is one of our alumni who is always interested in the students. He's always looking for what do the students need. I'm honored for the opportunity to give back to the university, which has given me so much, placing a butterfly ultrasound device in the hands of each new medical student. Congratulations and good luck. They have trusted us so much in order to give us this great gift, and I'm just honored, you know, to be able to come to Temple and be able to use that gift. The world needs physicians with wisdom, skill, and compassion, exactly the kind of physicians that you are going to be, temple-trained physicians.